How to create falling text animation in DaVinci Resolve 19. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects. Underneath the toolbox, select Titles and go to drag a text plus node to your edit timeline. By default, the text plus node will have a duration of 5 seconds and will play at a frame rate of 24. Use the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, to click and drag from the right side of the edit to change the duration, keeping an eye on the duration difference at the top and the total duration which appears at the bottom of the box next to your mouse cursor. With your text plus edit selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appear inside the first property box and adjust the formatting as you wish. Here in this example, I will use the font Biz UDP Gothic with a bold weight with white color and the size of 0.15. Right click on your text plus edit and go to open in Fusion page. Identify the template node towards the bottom of your Fusion interface. This should be selected with your text properties appearing under inspector on the right side of your Fusion window. Right click inside the box containing your text and select follower. The modifiers box towards the top right corner of your inspector window should now be selectable. Click on this to access the animation timing properties. Since I want all characters in my text to be part of this animation, I will leave range set to all characters. Depending on the order in which you want to animate your characters, change the order setting. Here in this example, since I want my characters to fall from the left to the right of my message, I will choose this option. And since I want there to be a minor interval between each falling character, I will keep delay type set to between each character. And depending on the number of frames that you wish to pass before the next character falls, adjust the value for delay. Here in this example, since I want the characters falling in quick succession, I will set a delay of two frames. You can manually adjust the value for delay if you feel that the maximum value of 25 is not sufficient, such as 48 here, for example, which is the equivalent of two seconds of screen time. To apply the animation itself, go to Transform, if you wish to animate each character individually, keep transform set to characters. If you want characters to be falling in word clusters, such as the words falling and text here, for example, change transform from characters to words. Alternatively, you can make whole individual lines of words appear by selecting the third transform option. Please bear in mind, depending on your transform choice, you will need to apply changes to the spacing and offset properties under inspector to apply the relevant effect as the default settings for each transform choice are different as shown in this example here with offset Z. Here in this example, I will choose characters. Before applying any property adjustments inside the inspector window, ensure that you have selected the first frame on your fusion timeline. Here in this example, zero. Reposition your text by manually dragging from the template center box on your fusion preview screen. If you wish to spread out the text characters more to avoid overlapping as they fall, you can increase the value for spacing. Here in this example, I will increase this to 1.05. Note how no change to the appearance of the text occurs on the preview window. This is because in this follower window, we need to apply a keyframe setting. Do this by clicking on the relevant diamond icon next to the property that you just adjusted. Now the spacing value will be applied from the first frame onwards. In order to have the characters fall from the top side of the screen, we need to adjust the vertical positioning of the characters at the start of the video clip by adjusting the offset Y value. To place the text at the top of your frame out of sight, change offset Y to 0.35. Again, like with the spacing variable, we need to apply a keyframe setting here. Once this has been applied, you can see a preview of the text above the frame of your fusion clip and a new path modifier appears in the inspector window. Keep the control settings as their default state and return to the follower modifier by double clicking. I wish for each character to complete its downwards trajectory in half a second of screen time. As previously identified, the text plus clip has a frame rate of 24. Therefore, I need to skip forward to the 12th frame, which is 11. You can do this by manually typing in the number under your fusion timeline. And now to return the text to its default position, set offset Y to zero. If you chose lines as your transform option on the other hand, returning to the timing settings in Inspector, if the order is set from left to right, know how the top line falls first followed by the second line. If we were to change the order from right to left on the other hand, 
The lines furthest down will be the first ones to fall in this animation sequence. The same left to right falling sequence will apply if you set your transform option to words. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.